Okay, so let's get started on making our ugly pillow. Uh, first thing you're going to need is uh, get the really nice fabric scissors. Okay, these are the secret, sacred fabric scissors that you don't use for anything else but fabric. You don't ever cut paper with these or anything. They're very sharp. They're very nice. And we like them sharp and nice because they cut through fabric so beautifully. So even though now you know where they're stored, never go, oh, I need some scissors to cut that cardboard. I know where there's scissors. I'm going to, no, no, okay. These are fabric only scissors. So you need those. You need some fabric uh, tailor's chalk here. That just marks the fabric so we can see something. And you need a ruler. And then you need three pieces of fabric. So um, start with what the, the pattern you like. So get one that's a pattern. Uh, I like this one for the ugly pillow. I see that it's got a little yellow in it right there. You see the yellow? So I went with yellow. This will be my back. This will be my front or front and back, whichever way it kind of works out. And then you also need uh, some felt. Just to add a little more substance to the inside of our pillow. Uh, we will use stuffing. I've got it off camera right now, but that's the stuff you put inside there. And that should take care of it. Uh, a button is optional. So if you want a button, you might want to have a button, which we can certainly add later. Okay, so we have everything that we need. We put my uh, old man glasses on and let's get started here. So we want to make a 20 centimeter square pillow. Okay, now that's our final dimensions, but we need to fold over uh, a centimeter will be the, the seam around it. So you have to add a centimeter to each side, which means it has to be now 20 plus one for each side. So that makes 22 centimeters by 22 centimeters. So let me just get my ruler here. Uh, 22, well, it's a hard one to see on here, but it's right here. Okay. Okay, there it is right there. That's 22. And mark over to here. 22. And then this here. 22. Okay, so that gives me an idea here. Uh, kind of got to go with the grain of the fabric here a little bit. There we go. Now this just rubs off. That's why we like um, fabric chalk so much. Okay, so I've got... 22 by 22. You're only going to do it once because then you, once you cut the first one, you'll just use it as a pattern to cut all the rest. Okay, so there's my 22 by 22. Get the really awesome scissors. Oh, oh. it's like cutting butter with a hot knife. So nice. Okay, 22 by 22. Okay, number one piece is cut. Make sure to always fold everything up all nice. That one is done. Let's move on to the next one. Will you keep that as a pattern? Really make sure that it's unfolded. Okay, so now with this one, you can see my pattern kind of stops right here. So I've actually got a little bit of extra there that, um, that I don't want in my pillow because it has this unprinted part of it here. So I'm actually going to, you know, mark that. Okay, so there we go. You see that there? 22 by 22. And then finally, one here. Okay, I will fold that off camera because you guys are all waiting to get this done. Okay, now you can also see with this one here, we got a really bad cut on there, whoever did this before. So we're just going to compensate for that.
I forgot to mention it, but you will need pins. Pins are usually kept right next to the sewing machine, so we just pin these all together here. Okay, so that's all good. Little tiny scraps like that can go in the garbage. Everything else, of course, we will fold up later off camera. Okay, so I've got now my, my three pieces, okay?